Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stu Harrison. Kawhi has done me a gigantic favor, and we're actually in the Kawhi booth at NAMM 2023. They've let us in a little bit early before it gets really crazy busy in here, and I'm in front of the new CA501. Now, this is the upgrade to the CA59, uh, and to me, this is one of the most important upgrades of the entire CA series, and I'm going to tell you why. The CA59 to me was always kind of a bit of an orphan instrument that on its own, I think, performed really well, but kind of felt like it was disconnected from the rest of the line. And that started with an interface that didn't look anything like what they were doing on the 49, 79, or 99. Um, and I also felt like the mix of value on that instrument, while it could be justified, always kind of fell into a funny, funny sort of place in the marketplace. What they've done with the CA501 now uh, is upgrade some really critical features that brings the value a little more into focus. It's a nice natural fit between the CA401 and the new CA701. Uh, and most importantly, it's just a really nice piano to play. Here's the big highlights for me. They have added the SKEX competition uh, sample series. Now this is something that has happened on the CA701 and the CA901. And there's been a lot of discussion about what exactly the C or the SK competition means. Really what this is, is they've sampled the newest edition of the SKEX 9-footer. The very first time around when they did this, it was the first generation SKEX. And while that was fantastic, the new L-series concert introduced more maple into the room. It kind of gave that upper mid attack a lot more body, a lot more strength and this new sample set has really managed to capture that very well. Not only does it make it a little more fun to play when you're playing with the speakers, when I've got a good set of headphones on, this also adds such a depth that you're gonna want to wind up playing this with good headphones a lot of the time. It's a really fantastic uh, experience. So the CA501 now has that, and in fact, even though it doesn't have the touchpad uh, that the 701 and 901 does, the underlying tone engine is actually the same. It's got the Harmonic Imaging XL. So this is loaded up with 256 notes worth of polyphony and headlined by that new SKEX competition sample. Now the other thing this has is upgraded uh, upward facing speakers. So the wattage I believe hasn't really changed and this is still coming in at 100 watts, but the diffusers on the top have had the same effect to me as what it had the effect on the 701 which was a much better, um, much more rounded acoustic presentation from the player's perspective. And when I was playing the CA-79, you always wound up tweaking a little bit to get those highs kind of tapered off a little. Uh, and while I didn't find that that was necessary on the CA-59, they have added those 360 diffusers uh, to the top. And to me what that does is it kind of directs the trebles uh, into more corners of the room um, and avoids hitting your ear uh, where it, it has the potential to be a little bit harsh. Now, I also made mention of the control panel, and this is a gigantic improvement. I know control panels don't really get discussed a lot in videos because, I don't know, I guess it kind of is a, a foregone conclusion that you're gonna have a usable control panel, but that is not always the case. What they've done here is a complete redesign, very intuitive to use, and they've also increased the number of sounds that are available on here by a few. The usability of the interface um, and how you can access some of the effects such as reverb uh, or scroll through some of the other uh, sounds, uh, in my opinion, is a lot easier. Also getting to the Bluetooth settings has become a lot easier since it is now just a twin touch of uh, the effects and the left button. Uh, and you get right into the pairing that'll give you access to the Bluetooth audio as well as the Bluetooth MIDI connection. And that's gonna allow you to connect uh, apps such as GarageBand as well um, as Kawhi's companion app. There's definitely been some upgrades to the cabinet here. Uh, I think the shaping uh, is, is 
definitely been improved. I think the height of it now feels like you're more into a higher series CA. And they've also repositioned the pedals, which I know uh, Kawhi's talked about on their website. It's probably uh, like a less than a centimeter or you know quarter inch here and there but it just sits a little more naturally on the foot they've retained the grand feel uh, pedal system meaning that uh, left middle and right pedals all have slightly different spring tensions and so for people who are downgrading from an acoustic piano I think this is a really important thing uh, that I like to talk about with customers and I think uh, the industry is definitely grappling with as well a very high number of digital piano customers these days are actually moving down from an existing acoustic piano experience rather than moving up. And so familiarity with uh, acoustic piano behaviors is so critical for that segment of the crowd that's getting rid of an acoustic piano, downgrading from a house, uh, and maybe this is gonna be the replacement for the piano they've owned for 40 or 50 years. Now there hasn't been a whole lot of change to the key surfaces here or the action. So this is the uh, the compact hammer action uh, that is on here, it's basically just a slightly shorter key stick than what you find on the CA701 and the CA901, um, but still very realistic in terms of uh, replicating, I think, what a larger upright or maybe a very small grand might feel like. The key stick length isn't a full grand, but it's very, very close. And so rather than trying to replicate the dynamic feel of a key using counterweights and using other uh, levers and, and in some cases even springs, this is just the key. The motion is very natural and the repetition speed feels really good as well. Now one other thing that I think is definitely worth a mention here, I was just having a conversation uh, with some of the higher ups at Kauai. They were making mention of the fact that they've actually improved the power supply to this instrument. That's not something that is really going to get a lot of press or a lot of discussion but when you improve the quality and the consistency of power supply to high-end electronics, studio owners will know this for sure. In, in a lot of cases, you're actually going to hear a difference in the sound output. The amplifiers um, are going to operate a little bit better. Um, in some cases, your digital circuitry is either, like it either works or it doesn't in terms of voltage, but there's a lot of analog components in there where better power supply is gonna impact the playing experience. Obviously, when we get back into our own studio, we're gonna be doing a deeper dive and our usual comparison treatment between this and other relevant models from, say, Roland or Yamaha. Uh, but I think right now, the big takeaway for me from this first look at the CA501 is this. Here is a piano that's got 100 watts of output. It's got four speakers. Those speakers are delivering some hi-fi uh, audio signal. You've got a top of the line uh, tone engine in the form of the Harmonic Imaging XL outputting Kawhi's top sample bank, and you've got the wood keys. I.e., for people who do not have the budget to get up into a CA701 or 901, what are you really missing? You're getting a slightly less immersive speaker performance than you would on the 701. Just a slightly shorter key stick than what you find on the CA701 and the CA901, and you're missing out on the touchscreen experience. But the guts of this experience are very, very similar to what you're gonna get on the 701. And so for customers where those other factors are not that critical, this becomes your no frills CA701, which was never something you could have said about the CA59 to the CA79. And that to me is very exciting. I'm gonna play this a little bit so that you have an idea about what we can expect from the CA501 coming up. Here we go.
super dynamic, very colorful. Just a side note, you don't really appreciate this until you get this lined up next to a Yamaha or a Roland of a similar price point, but the clarity of the bottom octave on this sample set is absolutely extraordinary. And of course you've got a really nice thick treble. Anyway, I'm gonna run out of uh, quiet time here on the booth really, really shortly, but thank you so much for joining us for this first look at the CA501. Like I said, we're gonna be doing many other explorations of this uh, instrument once we are able to get one up to the showroom. Um, thanks very much to Kawhi for allowing us to get a quick look at this instrument uh, right in the middle of the show. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Hit that button and the notification bell. We'd love to have you back for more. And thanks for visiting us here virtually at NAM 2023. We'll see you soon.